other thing that we communicate in market is create videos to put on our social media after we have certain events. You know, obviously you have the issues of do you have permission to take pictures or videos of children, right? Well, the way that we do that with our club is that's part of the online registration process. I get permission to do that from every person who registers with our club. Now, if this was in school, you obviously, for EdTPA and for anything that's within the school, you have to go through the procedures of school for gaining access to post pictures and videos of children. But for the, the remember, this is an outside of school club and we collect permission through our online registration system. So different types of running videos that we've made based upon the different activities that we have done with the club. GoPro footage of my son in a jogging stroller and we mounted the GoPro on the handlebar of it. This has got almost 7,000 views actually. Here's a, a GoPro that on my kindergartner. So here's still images. A lot of these images are just taken from iPhone smartphones. There's the GoPro that, with the chest strap. And then I uh, used Windows Movie Maker, which now is becoming obsolete, but um, it's, a, you know, you can use iMovie, Adobe Premiere Elements, these basic programs that all you're really doing is splicing still images with video. And then I'm going to show you in a second some websites that you can use to find copyright free music to add on there, which is pretty important. The kids love seeing themselves later on. So we post it on Facebook and we send out the email links to it and how you can set up varying um, access to videos. There's privacy settings that you can set up on there. Here's the vi visibility. So you have a few different options. These are a public. Anybody who searches on YouTube can find that video. Unlisted means only the people who have the link to that video can watch that video. So here's the link to the video. If I copied and pasted and set this as unlisted, if you went into YouTube and searched for the video, you would not be able to find it. However, if you had the link to the video, the direct link to it, you could watch it. The last privacy setting is private and that's where only the people who are logged into this YouTube account, which is my YouTube channel, can watch the video. So sometimes if I have a, a family video, uh, I sort of want to save for myself. I'll list it as private and I can go in and view it in my list of videos, but I'm the only one who has access to, to see that. Here's like a listing of the different videos that I post on there. He, these ones are like screen capture videos that I use for my classes. They're unlisted so that the students can view it who, and I, and I pop, copy and paste those links into the learning management system. We have D2L. Um, here's free music archive. You can search for different music genres and then download the actual songs on your hard drive and then put that into your editing soft, video editing software so that you can use some copyright free music. However, you do need to list the artist and the song in uh, either the video description or the text on the video. Another one I like is called Ben Sound. Different types of, of music here that's copyright free. Again, you need to uh, list Ben Sound and, and typically the website. There's uh, varying rules that for those copyright free music options for that. Editing tips. Do not count on smartphones for capturing audio. Use um, wireless microphones if you can. Record horizontal, particularly with iPads and, and, and smartphones. So that means holding it long ways compared to vertical up and down to avoid black bars whenever you try to post those videos later on. Definitely for physical activity types of, of um, settings, you wanna consider using a GoPro for that. I talked about that. Here's some entry level. You do not need to use the, some of those more advanced Final Cut Pro or Adobe Pro for video editing. For the stuff that you're gonna be doing, like for EdTPA and things like that, you can use some of those really basic editing software. Oh,